Breaking news here at the WBZ newsroom. Breaking news out of Mattapoisett where there is a massive fire at a boatyard at Ned's Point Road. You can see those pictures from Sky Eye there. A boat fully involved as well as several cars in that boatyard. We are told this is a five alarm fire. Fairhaven Fire Department says there are several injuries. Our Tiffany Chan has been following this for us and spoke to a witness and joins us now live. Tiffany. Hi, Cheryl. I'm actually on my way to Mattapoisa, but I just spoke with a witness who was out on his boat. He keeps his boat at this boatyard. He says he was out on the water when he heard just some consecutive popping noises. He said he instantly knew what that was. A couple minutes later, he saw those thick black smoke that you're probably seeing on the screen now. And he started recording in his video, which I hope we can get to you in a little bit. You can hear those popping noises. And it seems like that fire was really concentrated in some type of a white barn enclosed space. He says that when he got closer, the wind fanned the flames and it just became a really uncontrolled fire. We got this was put on his boat. He says he was glad he was out on the boat. None of the boats on the water, he says, were impacted. It was mainly a lot of the cars, the buildings, and the boats that were on land that were being kept there. He says it's a lot of the boats that people keep there that they're selling or they're just keeping there for storage. But he was just talking about just how emotional it was because the Mattapoisett boat yard is so beloved in this community, he tells me that hundreds of people were gathering by the pier watching the thick smoke the flames really disheartening cheryl yes i mean you can see from sky eye the the fast the fire looks pretty massive here firefighters are on scene trying to put out as much of it as they can but it looks like the fire is in all different spots including like you said a lot of cars and the boats there that are in the yard that may have been there for storage or to be sold um, the Fairhaven Fire Department does tell us that there are several injuries at this point. Did the witness say anything about it, knowing anyone that may have been injured, Tiffany? You know, it's tough for him to tell because he was out on his boat and he was seeing it from such a different vantage point. He did say that when he started recording, a lot of the alarms were going off. I don't know if you can hear that in the video that you're showing, but a lot of the alarms were going off and he hoped that that had alerted people, but he didn't know of anybody that was injured. But he does know the family who owns this boatyard, the Kaiser family, he tells me. Um, they were on scene pretty quickly. They got there. I don't know if it was employees that were injured or people that were there at the boatyard. It seems like a lot of this information is still developing, but he just really talked about the hundreds of people that gather just to see what the commotion was about, just to see the smoke and just worried about, you know, the people that were on on that plot of land. Oh, for sure. I mean, earlier when we were showing the, the video of the fire, it was giant black plumes of smoke that were really pretty high up in the sky. Um, the National Weather Service actually saw it, said they saw it on the radar. That's how uh, significant those the, that smoke was. It now looks like a lot of the fire um, is, is out in some areas, but there's still quite a bit of smoke and quite a bit of um, sections that are still uh, on fire there, Tiffany. And it, from what we can see here, it looks like several boats and several cars on fire at this boatyard at this point. And this has been going on for some time now as firefighters try to get it under control. It's, this is a five alarm fire there, so there are several fire departments there working to try to help get this, um, get this fire under control and get this fire put out. Um, are witnesses saying anything about whether or not um, any of the property inside that boatyard had been occupied at the time this fire broke out, Tiffany? Michelle, I do want to emphasize because I asked this witness, his name is David Horn, who was on his boat. I asked him what those popping noises sounded like. I said, did it sound like it was from fuel? It was from the boat. And the way that he described it was it was coming from a white enclosed barn looking um, structure. And it sounded like paint cans exploding. So he says he doesn't believe that it was fuel. Um, now, whether people were in this area, it's really unclear. Um, he described this um, this area as people really just keep their boats there for storage. Um, so it's not really clear whether he saw people um, there, but when he had his boat, I was watching his video that he posted on his website. Um, it didn't seem like there were a lot of people walking around and he said firefighters got there pretty quickly, but the problem he says is the wind Right by the water, it seemed to be helping it spread pretty quick. So 
he described that being the biggest challenge for firefighters. And and it sure does look that way. I mean, you can see that uh, how windy it is there with the flames uh, flying high up in the air and the smoke pouring out at several of these pockets of fire that you can see on your screen there. Um, and that's been a consistent problem for firefighters all week with brush fires and the concern for wind pushing these flames out and, and making it very difficult for them to put out. Firefighters are on the ground here um, trying to put fi the fire out from the ground and from a boat. They're pouring water from a boat um, that's sitting out by the dock there as well, just trying to get this fire under control. Um, it looks like this is a, a pretty massive effort.